Welcome back to the channel guys and today's video we are going to be looking at the STK61 60% mechanical gaming keyboard and we're going to find out if it's any good so that's the plan um, but first of all let's have a look at this thing because uh, I want you guys to see it up close because this thing looks really cool Right guys, so there you have it. It's a good looking keyboard. And um, a couple of things I really like about this is the fact that it's so much smaller than the one I had before. As you guys seen in the last video, my other keyboard was literally massive. So for me, it was important to get a keyboard that was a lot more compact, a lot smaller. So that was one of the reasons I went for this. Um, the other thing is the fact that it's wireless, which again, we all like wireless stuff. Um, it does come with a wire as well, so if you do need to plug it in, you can. Um, and when it comes to battery life, you don't kind of have to guess and worry about hmm, when's it going to run out. If you just go into like your Bluetooth settings on here, it tells you what percentage life it's got left. So you never really have to worry like, oh, am I going to run out during this game? Or I've, I've only got 10%, I'll just plug it in. So. That's another thing I quite like, and um, when it's sat on the mat, even on the wood, with these little four tabs on the back here, it doesn't slip around at all, it's really, really solid, and it feels great. So, but let's talk about the main thing. Does it feel good? I mean, they're proper clicky keyboard. Now, these are the ones with the blue, the blue tab keys, and compared to like the laptop one, well, you can't really hear it. This thing, this will annoy people, but we don't mind. And also, what I find, like on a normal keyboard or a flat uh, laptop keyboard, because it's so flat, I kind of, I kind of wander. I don't know if it's just me. But when I'm gaming after a while, I, I seem to wander and then end up hitting wrong keys, and I get frustrated. It's really annoying. But this thing, because the travel is so far down. Like I can feel if I'm going, if I'm starting to wander. I, I know if I'm going over, and because of that, I never actually go to the wrong keys. I always feel like I'm in the right place at the right time all the time. And then again, when you're actually hitting the keys, you can really feel that you're hitting it right. You know, whereas on here, because they're so light, you kind of sometimes feel like, oh, have I hit it? You can't feel it as much as these things, and that's one of the other things I really love about this keyboard. I can really feel, you know, that I'm hitting it. So, I'll load up a game, and then I'll just do a little bit of gameplay with you, just so you can see what it's going to sound like, how noisy it is, because I think that's one of the things to bear in mind. They are quite noisy, but for me it's not a problem, and for most people it's not, but it's just something to bear in mind. So, I'll load up a game, and... We'll just have a walk around and have a play with it. Alright guys, so... Right around. Right around. See you Oh, I just love how it feels. Feels good. Like I said before, I feel like I know where I am all the time now, so I just feel more confident with the keyboard. I just feel a lot, a lot better. So for me, this keyboard's a winner. Alright, guys, so there we have it the STK61 gaming keyboard. I really like this thing. I'm so glad I got it. Now, this is a cheap version of the mechanical keyboard it was 42 quid from amazon um, i'll put a link in the description so if you guys want to check it out you can there are a lot more expensive ones out there but i really like the look of this one and i wanted to give it a try so i did and i do not regret it whatsoever so 
it's a winner from me, definitely. So if you guys are thinking about getting one, this might be worth a shout because it's great. Honestly, it is. But um, there we go. So that's going to be about it for this video. Um, the next video, I don't know if to tell you guys or not. But yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. So basically, I'm going to try and run a GPU outside of the laptop. But there's a few things I need to order, like cables and stuff. But I'm in the middle of looking into that now. So by the time this comes out and you might watch it, I might have already uh, got some stuff in. But uh, that's kind of what's going to happen to the next video. So if you don't want to miss that, um, you might want to subscribe to the channel and you will see. So hopefully that will come soon. But for now, look after yourselves, guys, and I will see you in the next one.